When you post your first Miller's pre-order job, you'll need to create a login and connect your Stripe account before you can publish it. This video is focused on that process. First, you need to create a new order, then enter the necessary information, and select your desired options. When configuring your package set, you need to be sure to fill out the retail price value for each package. You do not need to add sales tax, as sales tax will be collected and remitted automatically by the system. The pre-order system is designed to be used with or without imported data. However, with schools, you'll generally want to use imported data so you have the proper information for your service items. Next, name your pre-order event, select the options you wish to include, pick the expiration date, and upload your event. Once your gallery is done uploading, a link will appear. This link will take you to the Marketplace Setup page. First, fill out the information on this page. The email you type in here will be your username for the system. Your password will need to contain at least eight characters, a capital letter, and a symbol. When finished, click the Submit button. Now, you can log in using your new credentials. You need to visit the Studio Settings area to check the Studio information and connect your Stripe account. Here, you can add your Studio logo and edit the name and contact information for your account. If you need to set up a Stripe account, click the Information icon next to the Payment Configuration heading, then visit this link. Stripe will walk you through the process of creating an account. Once your Stripe account is created, return to the Studio Settings page. Now, click the Connect with Stripe button, enter the necessary information, and complete the connection. If the connection to Stripe was successful, you will now see a Disconnect Stripe button at the top of the screen. Now finish setting up your account. If desired, you can change the URL that points customers to your galleries and events. When you're finished, save the changes. Next, go to Prepay Events and click on the event you created in Remote Suite Plus. You will notice that the event is not yet published. It's best to check the settings and packages before publishing. Click on Settings, then on Pre-order Settings. Verify what you selected in RS Plus or make changes, then click on Packages and check them. Now go back to Settings, toggle the Publish button, and click Save. Now the event is published. Go to Overview to find the URL you need to share with your customers to allow them to order their packages. You can use our Promotions tool to get the word out. This tool is discussed in more detail in a separate video. Thank you for watching this first time setup tutorial. The complete process for setting up a pre-order event is covered in our Prepay Overview video.